Audacity version 3.2.1 was released without much fanfare, but there's a couple of important things that we need to talk about. So I've got Audacity version 3.2.1 opened up here on my screen. If we come up to the Audacity drop-down window and look at About Audacity, you can see that it's 3.2.1. I'm going to put OK and get rid of that. Even though Audacity version 3.2.1 was released without a lot of fanfare, it really just had a couple of, I guess you could call minor fixes in it. But one of the minor fixes is kind of major if you're on a Mac computer that's running an M1 or an M2 processor. With the release of the previous version, 3.2.0, there was a, I don't want to say a compatibility issue, I don't know that it was a compatibility issue, but it had a problem finding the correct FFmpeg library to install, and so there was a bit of a, a problem there with it, and at the guidance of the fine folks at Audacity, I ended up downloading and installing a x86 version built for the Mac as a temporary solution because it used my existing FFmpeg library that's already on my computer. Well, in version 3.2.1, that's all been fixed. One of the fixes for Audacity 3.2.1 is that for Mac users with an M1 or an M2 processor, version 3.2.1 now finds and installs the correct FFmpeg file. Long story short, it's fixed. So if you're on a Mac, you might want to know that. If you did what I did initially with 3.2.0 and installed the x86 version, you might want to upgrade to 3.2.1 because that is a fix that's in place and life is good once again. But the other thing that I wanted to show you concerns the device toolbar. Remember the device toolbar? You remember how Audacity hid everything underneath this audio setup button? So we have it all right here. You know, what used to be in the device toolbar is here. And if I go to audio settings, it opens up this other window and my choices are right here, but I, they're all hidden behind that button, which I think is a good thing. I do. I think, it's a, I think it's a fantastic thing because it frees up a little bit of real estate. But if you kind of have an emotional attachment to the device toolbar in Audacity, it's still there. It's hiding, but not really. Let me show you where it is. If you go up to View, the View drop-down menu, and you go to Toolbars, looky there, Device Toolbar. All you have to do is select it. And when you select it, it puts it right back where it was. So if you like the device toolbar, if you're used to seeing the device toolbar right there, then you can go do that and you'll have the device toolbar back. If you don't want the device toolbar there, you can simply come back up to the view menu, toolbars, and unselect it. And once again, it's there behind the audio setup button. It never left. But this saves a little bit of real estate on the screen for other things like editing your waveform. So those are two things I wanted to show you real quick. The fix for Mac users on an M1 and M2 processor and the device toolbar. And Audacity 3.2.1 is out. You might want to upgrade 